my obsession started in ninth grade of high school and I pretty much dedicated my entire high school career to following Blur around California and going to old record stop, you know, stores and digging up B-sides, reading every single British music magazine I could get my hands on, Melody Maker, NME. I had the Union jacket up in my room. Once I went to a concert at the Palladium with a friend and as I was going to the bathroom before the show started, a roadie gave me a pass to go to the after party. I was 15 years old. <laughs> I rushed back to my friend and I'm like, you won't believe what just happened. We're going to the rooftop of the Hyatt Hotel after this show. We're freaking out. We go there. Of course, I tell my mom just spending the night at my friend's house. And when I get there, it was a 90s music madness party. Marilyn Manson was there, Adam Duritz, and of course, my boys blur. But the best part about the story was that I was so lame. I was 15, and my mom raised me right, so I wasn't drinking. I didn't do anything naughty. I just stood in the corner with my friend freaking out the entire time. <laughs>